Hello cookbook addicts, my name is Katie, and today on Cookbook Divas, I wanted to talk about Getaway. Uh, this is by Renee Erickson and Sarah Dickerman, and I needed to talk about it because Renee Erickson is also a fellow Seattleite, and I just, you know, I, I really appreciate it. I think she's awesome. I think uh, she is actually a Woodenville resident, technically, so this is going to be really cool to look through. I also love, so when I plan my vacations, I'm always planning around food that's everywhere. So I always want to experience the food in every single country I go to, city, all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to kind of exploring food from each city that she's explored. Just very excited about it. So let's look at it. I was also not expecting it to be so big. I was thinking it was going to be half the size, so I'm... I think this is going to have a lot more recipes than I anticipated in the in the first place. So let's see what the table of contents say. It's already really beautiful. I love being able to see like the cityscapes. It's going to be really fun. All right. So we have beginning with Rome. I'm so glad that these aren't like glazed pages. Now you can actually see what everything has. We have Paris. Normandy, London, Baja, and Seattle, and then we end with pickles and other staples, and then resources. I'm really excited because I, I actually couldn't tell you what Seattle food is as a Seattle local. It just, yeah, I'm excited. All right, so we begin in Rome. Look at how beautiful that is. I just want to travel. This is so, this came out at the perfect time. I think a lot of us are going to start shutting in again. So now we can kind of pretend like we're exploring again. Oh, wow. This has a lot more recipes than I thought it did. So this is uh, the War Warley's place. So beautiful cocktail. Oh, wow. Now we go into the anatomy of a spritz. I love the uh, the pictures, the backgrounds, just kind of the the table settings, everything about it. It's just so cool. Let's just see what else we've got. I'm going to butcher this. It's a Giardiniera. Maybe one of you guys can help me out here. But this is interesting. I've never seen this before in a cookbook, and I think this is actual local cuisine. This is something that they actually make in Rome. So this is really exciting. There's also a ricotta and roasted cherry tomato crostini with too much olive oil. Crispy zucchini with par parmigiano, reggiano, lemon, and mint. This looks excellent. Very cool. And I like that they even reference where exactly in Rome they found this. Eggplant parmesan, yum. And I think I would have used this recipe like two weeks ago when I made it for us, and it's probably way authentic. So this is just Rome, and I love the exploration of food, and then even just like learning about the places too. This looks like, this might be moving on to Paris. It is. Okay, so then we're moving to Paris, which I've actually been there. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of things she's got going on in here. Oh, wow. This is the perfect vermouth spritz. Beautiful flowers. We have, ooh, okay, so we've got tarama and potato chips. I've never heard of that before. This looks very good. Big white beans, agru agrumato oil, and black pepper. See, these are things I've never heard of. So again, this is like an awesome coffee table book. You can, you know, just have it there and kind of explore the food and the culture in each of these beautiful places. Let's go a little forward. I could probably spend all day looking through this book. We also have a king oyster mushroom with marjoram, breadcrumbs, and poached egg. This looks excellent. So good. I'm wondering, yeah, this is still Paris. It talks about, it. yeah, we've got every chapter is labeled. The recipes kind of vary in difficulty, it seems like, so that's really nice. We've got some complicated ones and not so complicated. We are moving on to Normandy, so beautiful photography here. I was surprised to see how folk, this is like very food focused. I was thinking it was going to be like a little bit of both, but I'm kind of glad we get to see the food, it's food prominent, I guess. 
another beautiful photo of Normandy. So we have Moroccan spiced walnuts. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the noise in the background. I have some neighbors pouring gravel. <laughs> it's been all day. All right. So we also have coal roasted beets with salt rubbed cabbage. Whoa, that looks good. I need other options for my cabbage. Let's move on a little further. Like I said, I could travel the world. Ooh, this is fun. This is uh, London. I love this photo so much. All right, so then we go into a little more detail about London, London Fair. It's going to be so much fun. Dirty vermouth martini. A gin fizz. I like how she starts with cocktails usually for every single one. And then she dives into little bits of each dish or cocktail or whatever. The they, she has very interesting illustrations throughout, so I, I just, this is such a fun cookbook. Prunes with goat cheese and bacon. This is a classic. I, I'm really hungry. This is awesome. Shrimp on toast with capers, dills, and, or dill and ch cheville. I've done the, I've done the shrimp on toast. Let's see. London market life. This is cool. Scallops with n, n I'm sorry. I don't know. This looks great, though. I'm just, more and more I go, I'm hungry. Moving on, we've got Baja. So this is super cool. I love this. Gorgeous. I love the, the differences in culture, the differences in, like, the food you'll find. Like, this is Palomas and Margaritas. I just came back from Mexico from Ju in June, and this just looks amazing. I know Baja's not in Mexico, but... Um, I love this. Toasted peanuts with chili and lime. Great little snack. Chips. This is just so much fun. Squash blossom quesadillas. Oh, this is so cool. I would have never have done this before. Yeah, there's just so many recipes. Let's, let's move on to my local stuff, Seattle. This is an interesting photo to describe Seattle, <laughs> but I guess it works. We get a little bit, I think this is the Ballard Bridge. This is very cool. Some, your favorite melon and mint mojito. I don't know of a bar that does this, but I need to go find it because that sounds amazing. There's also Pim's Cup with Lemon Verbena and, and mint. And then The Way We Were. Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's see what actual dishes we've got. We've got dill dip with potato chips. Okay, that sounds pretty good. We have, I'm waiting for some salmon recipes because that's the only thing I can think of that might be actually uh, a Seattle thing. We've got zucchini fritters. This looks very good. I would take this one for sure and cook this up. Um, rockfish crudo with ajo blanco and roasted serrano oil. This looks really um, super cool. We also have uh, references where this actually is. So this is a uh, Lumi's Island, the Willows Inn, and this just is very cool. Yeah, this is just a very amazing cookbook. Lots of cool stuff in here. Lots of knowledge. Uh, grilled and raw tomatoes with cucumbers, yogurt, and all the herbs. I could go on forever. This is definitely like a little tour of a little parts of the world. We've got Seattle, London, Baja. Just really, really cool. I love just kind of, it does actually transport you. I, I was thinking it was going to be a small book. It's huge. You could spend many days just kind of looking through all the recipes and learning. There's all kinds of text throughout the book that kind of explains the culture and history of each place. It's very cool. So I definitely suggest Getaway by Renee Erickson. Check this out. If you guys like our cookbook videos, make sure to subscribe and review down below on your way out. We want to hear about the cookbooks you want us to review and look through. What do you like the most? So if you like more, if you want more cookbook content, come check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. We also do a blog and a podcast that publishes every Friday. So come join us there too at Cookbook Divas. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a wonderful week.